Hi. Hello. Taroko gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah. Amazingly enough, but it's pretty gorgeous. It lives up to the name. Exactly. Taroko gorgeous is like Milford Sound without all the water inside of it in New Zealand. I know that probably doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but if you've been to Milford Sound, it means a lot. <laughs> it's extremely beautiful. It's just breathtakingly beautiful, especially when you do it on a scooter like we did. It's amazing on the scooter but honestly it was a little bit painful up at the top well i wouldn't trade the pain for the world i definitely wouldn't train the pain for a tour bus <laughs> with all the chinese <laughs> no we passed them within the first 40 minutes probably and then the next seven hours we're by ourselves the truths of all the time will soon be gone I feel really touched to be the one who cleans the house and do it all for you to shine I think that's gonna be cool Oh man sketchy <laughs> I liked this part more. <laughs> Here we go, I'm gonna shoot one of Julia's music videos, kind of. I'm just gonna shoot her playing on this bridge. Alright, here we go, we're gonna start the video now. Start the clip. Almost out of batteries. All the cables on this bridge are broken. Oh, and it's creaking under my feet. I don't like this. And I have to go back to the other side now. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't say you felt scared. I felt scared. <laughs> Maybe I should shoot you then. No. I don't feel scared at all. I'm too scared to be shot. <laughs> well, Ian's scared of this bridge. I don't know what's, what's you don't wrong know why? with it. Why? You don't know why I'm scared? Let me just show you. Here, look at the camera. That is why I'm scared. Every single cable <laughs> is not attached to the bridge. Oh well, oh well. I feel pretty, you know, like... I feel okay on this side. I don't like it though, I'll tell you that much. Come on, that would be a sweet place to die, you know? If you were to die, I guess. That would be better than just like a car accident or something. Might as well feel comfortable. Start jumping. I don't no, know. You, might, you might survive. It might just be really painful. <laughs> well, we just shot the music clip, and I feel very comfortable. So I guess. Man, you should come to me, and then I just shake the bridge <laughs> and push you off. Okay, let's get out of here. Still always remembering when the going gets tough, that the labor of our love will reward us soon enough. Never alone if he can offer help. Oh, 
always thinking of everyone else before himself. Ah, oh, worries a bully that just won't let me be. Trying to keep me busy, tossing and struggling. Still always remembering when the going gets tough. That the labor of our love will reward us soon enough. On the, the first day when we were riding around Taroko just as, you know, tourists checking the place out, we stopped at a little stop because I saw some I saw some bicycles and there was no people around. And I was thinking, you know, those people have to be somewhere around. So we stopped and there was a little trail leading down the hill. Yeah, saying no loitering. So yeah. no, no hanging out too much. So we've decided to just uh, go down the hill and then... We walked through a little bridge. We saw a sign saying no entrance. Of course, we decided to go through. And Danger then, falling rocks. <laughs> and then we found out this amazing natural hot spring just coming out of the walls. And this little man-made people put little um, yeah, stones had, around. And, somebody had and, stacked stones to create these little pools. And each pool, the closer it got to the river, was a little bit cooler progressively. And so if you went up to the top, you had this tiny waterfall of super hot water that was almost unbearable. Oh my god, it's so hot. It burns. Oh. It really was unbearable until you got yourself used to it. And then you could jump in the river and just let this freezing cold water rush over you. God, it was amazing. It was and amazing. Ian in the... got a little too much of it. Oh, <laughs> he got so it. red. Oh, I loved it. It was so nice. It was incredibly refreshing and I, I closed my eyes in the cold water and just lay, have my head laying down on a rock and then I opened my eyes and I realized there was this suspension bridge over my head and this like giant wave of rock that's going over my body over the top of the gorge and I'm laying down in this incredibly fresh water that's coming down this pristine mountain that's so extreme in the landscape that there's no agriculture on it and there's just fresh water. <laughs> ah, the river's taking me away! <laughs> it's so cold. I'm shivering here. Basically every person that we've talked to after the experience, they were like, you, you must be kidding me. You, yeah. did that, you did that right. On a scooter. Yeah, so it must be really dangerous. Yeah. But people seldom take that road. Found one. <laughs> they really thought we were heroes or crazy or something. Big, big, crazy white people. We're running through this, uh, this intense mountain. It's the, it's the tallest road, the highest road in Taiwan. 3,500 meters is the peak where this thing passes by. And we got right to the peak at about 5.30 in the evening. It and it dark. was raining and it was windy and it was cold and we were supposed to make it like another three hours riding. And we just couldn't do it, we had to stop. The, well, the motorcycle couldn't do it. We were literally pushing the thing up the hill, so. Finally, though, at the top of the hill, going through the clouds, looking at the the cloud uh, ocean that they call it down below, it was really spectacular. And it was too bad that right at the end we really, really got cold and it was time to call it quits because the ride itself was just incredibly pleasurable. Ugh. It's so beautiful, but it's so cold. I kind of want to be here, but I kind of just don't want to be here anymore.
very popular. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go.